Hello, my dear friends. How are you? Welcome. Thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivana Tero. This is daily tarot reading for all 12 zodiac signs for both men and women all over the world. No matter are you single, are you attached, no matter are you man or woman, no matter are you happy or unhappy. Hopefully, my daily tarot reading will bring you joy and maybe a good idea what is in front of you for this 22nd of April 2018 Sunday so hopefully you will have a good time in the next 10-15 minutes or so and let's get started as usual with a little bit of drop of astrology I received you know so many you know um, thank notes because I uh, I apply because I decided to apply my astrology knowledge uh, into this daily tarot reading. So I am glad uh, because uh, you find my astrology insight, you know, to be helpful for for your life. Okay, so let's get started. Sunday, twenty second of April. Sun is in the sign of Taurus. Uh, still in a conjunction with Uranus, which is extremely good and especially for your job and making more money. And uh, Sun in conjunction with Uranus, basically this is like a brilliant idea. Most likely this type of idea you have never have had uh, like before. Maybe you, maybe, maybe, maybe you already think about what basically you want to do. But maybe circumstances was not that, you know, that good. But now this is you willing to take a risk of, of some kind, you know, saying, uh, I don't mind, you know, anymore what other people think of me. I don't mind anymore what other, what other people have to say on my account. So I can see basically uh, bravery, uh, courage is needed. And, uh, and, and, and this time... Uh, this courage of uh, becoming an entrepreneur or, 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 or giving or giving yourself a permission uh, to proceed with new job a new project or completely changing your life uh, will come natural to you moon is still in a sign of cancer I mean this is Sunday so basically you should be at your home you know uh, minding your own business you know taking care of you your body, your family, your children, your partners, if you are partnered, you know, um, this should be and could be like a very easygoing, uh, you know, typical, typical Sunday. But I have a feeling that this so-called typical uh, peaceful Sunday most likely is going to be completely the opposite because, you know, um, moon in a sign of cancer is uh, rather calm and sensitive, but also I notice that so many people can become extremely um, unpatient and ambitious, you know, everything depends on the whole horoscope. So sun in conjunction with Uranus and uh, there is also Asterid King and Apollo in combination with the moon in the sign of cancer. Maybe this is you talking with your father or mother, you know, having all of a sudden uh, extremely good, brilliant idea and asking, could be mother, could be father, but also could be a spouse, you know, and also could be basically a friend, something of this kind. You see, I have a brilliant idea, but somehow, you know, I'm not that, you know, brave enough or, 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 or should, should I do that, you know, and then you will explain this brilliant, you know, idea to somebody, somebody who most likely is very close to you and somebody will say to you, oh, don't wait, don't wait, you know, this can change your whole life. Uh, Mercury is also in a sign of um, Aries. Uh, so basically you are not afraid that much as before. Chiron is uh, like a big, uh, like a big, uh, backing behind your back saying go 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 listen to your intuition you know follow your dreams and simply go with it you know go go with this you know idea venus is in a sign of uh, uh, taurus which is obviously extremely good for making money you see uh, maybe maybe this is you all of a sudden maybe you will decide that you want uh, to become an entrepreneur, maybe you want to work in uh, art, maybe this is you, maybe you want to work in a food industry, maybe you want to grow something, you know, like uh, vegetables or, or, or flowers or something, you know, I mean, could be food, could be flowers, could be art, 
could be painting, you know. So who knows, you know, I mean, you will find another resource of your incomes in completely strange way. Maybe you will meet all of a sudden somebody who will say, you know what? <laughs> you have a beautiful talent. You have a beautiful talent. You can make a living out from that, you know. So let me remind you, uh, asteroid talent is in the sign of Gemini. Honey, but you need to become aware that you have ability of some kind, skill, talent of some kind, most likely. Not only one, but most likely two, maybe three of them. Asteroid talent to be in the sign of Gemini, it means that also this is a negotiation extremely good skill. So maybe you will fight for you, maybe somebody will give you a chance to fight for company, to fight for somebody else, because most likely your skill, your talent is, uh, you know, uh, to mediate between two company or maybe between two people or maybe maybe project for some company something of that kind IT technology any kind of technology um, uh, could be connected with a motorcycle uh, with the machines with the machinery uh, with uh, with airplanes as well any kind of you know machinery but extremely is connected with IT technology computers gadgets of any kind traveling also you know could become part of your part of your uh, future future job but there is a Jupiter uh, in retrograde motion uh, in a sign of Scorpio in conjunction with Psyche so something inside of you still is missing most likely I think that this is lacking of being you know courageous so everything will start with a brilliant idea then you will share your idea with your brother sister mother father your partners maybe even with your friends you know and then somebody will say don't wait don't wait apply basically you know uh, this beautiful idea in your life. You see? So this is extremely good. Uh, asteroid wisdom is in the sign of Libra, but in retrograde motion. It thinks, first of all, you do not trust other people, and uh, still you are afraid to express how you feel and what you think, you see? But, uh, but believe me, I can see so many of you asking business meeting, kind of, please give me, give me, 10 minutes. In those 10 minutes, I will change your company forever so you can earn big buck, of course, you know, um, with a little bit help of me. So this is like a brilliant idea could, which could be applied like instantly, instantly, you know, which is obviously good because, you know, in business you need to be extremely fast, use all kind of, you know, resources and especially the way basically how you think and sign in conjunction with Uranus. This is exactly what it is. This is, this is a brilliant futuristic type of idea which can be implemented, meaning increasing your paycheck like in instant. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, I think I mentioned almost, aha, uh, asteroid uh, um, fortune is in conjunction, um, in the sign of Leo, in conjunction with asteroid, not with asteroid, but with the North Node, in meaning that so many of you, you will meet extremely important person in your life. Maybe this is love at the first sight, uh, maybe maybe you will in introduce this person uh, on some uh, e event, you know, this could be something like in a theater, could be movies, could be restaurant, could be coffee shop, you know, so uh, whoever you meet uh, around Sunday, Monday, maybe even Tuesday and, and Wednesday, this person is karmically connected with you and with this person soon in a couple of months you will have opportunity to travel like a long distance uh, okay I think this is basically enough uh, what I just said this is not daily terror reading only for one day what I just said to you this is basically for the next 30 days you know so use what is happening to you okay one thing more Saturn and a Pluto and a Mars you know, in a sign of Capricorn, whatever you do, because Capricorn is sign of career, this is not ordinary job, this is career, and especially if you have, or maybe this is you preparing, or maybe you want to become like a big boss, be very careful, uh, as a big boss, you need to understand, you only need to serve to your uh, co-workers, you know, don't show, uh, you know, um, don't be like uh, Attila, you know, uh, behaving like Attila, shouting, screaming on your colleagues because this ain't gonna, ain't gonna work, you know, because, uh, because Mars uh, and, and, and Pluto, this is like, uh, this is extremely powerful for, for losing basically your, uh, your position uh, in your career. 
uh, because you know uh, whatever you do everything need to be aligned with uh, high morals and ethics whoever is not following this recipe uh, this person simply will be expelled simply as that you know simply 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 as that okay uh, I think I said enough now let's go back to tarot and let me repeat just once again what I just said to you what I just described to you this is not only for one day this is basically for the 30 30 uh, 30 days okay so queen of cups transformation major arcana the full trust strength major arcana and two of cups okay guys do you know how rare this is to have two of cups unconditional love unconditional love could be uh, showing for you for your children, for a spouse, for your family members, could be showing unconditional love to your partner, but also uh, this tarot card is saying that somebody will show uh, unconditional love to you. And uh, transformation, basically, I think for this Sunday is like the key word. So you, you, you sound not you sound. You look to me, uh, you know, at least a little bit aloof, kind of. You don't trust like nobody, especially Scorpios, especially with this Jupiter in the retrograde motion. So you are afraid that you might meet somebody who is saying one thing and basically doing completely another thing. But the very next tarot card is major arcana, the full trust. So trust that God will put in front of you what you need, who you need. Do you understand me what basically is going on? So transformation is not applying, transformation is not going only inside of you, but transformation is now uh, going on in uh, inside of all people. I can see so many people being extremely destructive, you know, destructive towards you and destructive maybe to your current partner saying, I don't trust nobody, nobody is worth of me and this type of, I mean, what you are saying, we are saying those things are, or maybe thinking those things because you are afraid to trust but honey this is not good way of living you know being completely aloof living completely in your solitude okay if you if you are a researcher if you are a scientist maybe this is good for you maybe you need this solitude but when it comes to love relationship then you need to trust once again let me repeat try to trust another human being again so you can you can grow you can grow you can evolve in spiritual and in emotional sense of that word so simply trust so many of you you will have opportunity to meet somebody and you will see immediately oh this person is you know like a child but sometimes this is good you know whenever you lost a child inside of you you know what i mean you know being joyous you know this is not good for you so maybe this person have a very special task to show to you that you lost inner child inside of you so now honey it is time to remember that this is allowed for you to sing to dance um to act a little bit you know crazy you know simply find inner child inner child inside of you this person whoever this person is uh, will re will uh, will will push you to remember you know how you were uh, and who 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 you were like 5 10 20 maybe even 30 years you know before um the next tarot card is major kind of strength so uh, to show tenderness to show trust to be gentle to another human being it takes strength it is not easy to achieve you know uh, it is so 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 easy uh, to be uh, wild to be rude unpolite you know uh, to try to destroy something this is so easy you know uh, when you are acting like that you know and this is this is spiritual uh, truth when you are doing something which is destructive you do not use any kind of strength inside of you do you know that when you when you want to destroy something but when you want to build something when you are when you are trying to do something out from your gentleness tenderness uh you know out from your life it takes a lot of strength do you understand me what i'm saying so uh what i want to say it is hard to be good it is hard to be polite it is hard to 
to build something, even love relationship or business relationship as well. It is hard to do, you know. So it is so much easier, you know, to be to be rude or to be, you know, unpolite. It is so much easier to destroy something. But nothing will be destroyed during this uh, Sunday. All I can see, I can see transformation. I can see trust. I can see finding in a child in a child inside of you. I can see strength and showing tenderness. So most likely somebody will show tenderness towards you. So uh, my dear friends, listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. This somebody could be your old friend. Could be somebody from your early childhood. Could be your current partner, or maybe even could be completely somebody new. While you are walking your dog or your cat or I don't know any kind of you know pet basically that you possess somewhere in the nature, you know, uh, somebody might approach to you with a smile on his face, and uh, this person will enter into conversation with you, and then you might be you you might be destructive or basically you might be tender. Honey, choose you can do with your life whatever you want. All I'm saying. It is so rare, it is so seldom, you know, to get in reading unconditional love. So I can see so many of you bonding, like a two fingers on one hand, bonding to people. I can see bonding, uh, one man and, and, and one moon, bonding spiritually and emotionally. Everything will start in a very shy way, very shy way. And you will have opportunity to meet either Aquarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, okay? This person most likely who will approach to you. So simply try to try to remember everything what I just said to you and connect with the very first part um, of this daily tarot reading when I talked about astrology. So only then you will have idea what basically might happen during this Sunday in your life. Okay, by the end of this reading, I have additional message for you guys simply love so could be between a father and kid could be could be between mother and uh, son or daughter could be between two families could be you know between you and somebody else so basically uh, message is simply love but what that means exactly show simply show love appreciation tenderness gentleness whatever it is and somebody might approach to you in a such a very very simple way okay so be careful what you're doing and how you're thinking because there is also danger you ain't gonna recognize somebody who might become extremely important for you okay this is all there is for this daily tarot reading if you want to hear your story book a private reading with me if you want in the meantime, make sure to subscribe on my channel and please share this video with your friends. Okie dokie. I'm sending you my blessings. Take care and goodbye.